Hey, what's up guys? This is James here from Redline Charters with another video. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing y'all how to throw a cast net from the four foot range to the 12 foot range in first person and in second person. So y'all stay tuned. And uh, before we get started the video, come check this out. We've actually got a little jellyfish here. Um, <laughs> he's a little unconscious. Oh, microphone. And then a little Spanish mackerel that just kind of came up on the water, which is weird because those are usually on the ocean. Got the boat parked right there. Got my little station set up. All the cast nets to review. So y'all, let's dive right into it. Got our six foot cast net all prepared. So guys, next up we got our 10 foot cast net. So before we get started with the video, we have to answer two questions. Those two questions are, what is a cast net? And what is a cast net even used for? So a cast net, um, I'll show you guys right here in my diagram, or this little, little, what you call it, I don't even know. <laughs> but um, yeah, on the bottom here, you've got a whole line of these little, little lead weights attached to each other. You've got a whole line of those. And then above that, we've got a whole bunch of mesh right up here. That mesh stretches way out. And um, that's what uh, kind of captures the bait and brings it to you. To you. And it's kind of like a webbing. And then um, the top part of that mesh we were talking about, it's a little ring, kind of manages all these strings. And these strings attach to the bottom of these lead weights. Kind of see on, let's see if I can't find one. Oh yep, yeah, here's one right here. So you can kind of see one of the little webbing or strings. And then it's attached all the way up here. And then we've got a rope that attaches to our hand. So that's what a cast nut is. Um, well, that's how a cast nut works. That's how I should clarify it as. And um, what is a cast nut used for? So a cast nut is used to catch a little bait all the way from this small to like, you know, like the size of my arm almost, or half of my arm. Um, that bait can be pogies, mullet, and any type of bait, really. Here in Wrightsville Beach, my favorite type of bait is finger mullet. Um, finger mullet, you can use it inshore, you can use it near shore, you can use it offshore. And um, also pogies, um, that's another one I like to catch too. Um, but anyways guys, let's get right into it. So the first cast net we're gonna be throwing is our six foot cast net over here. All the way, the one to the left, labeled six foot. And the way we throw a six foot, you'll be doing it the same way from a four foot cast net all the way up to an eight foot cast net. So our eight foot cast net here and the black lettering will be the same technique we'll use for the six foot cast net. And of course, 10 foot and up, you'll be using a different technique called a trip lid. So let's go and cast this net. <laughs> so guys, here we've got our six foot cast net. And the first thing we're gonna encounter is the end of our rope. The end of our rope is this little circle here. This little circle. And the biggest thing I want to point out is the biggest beginner, begin, uh, beginner mistake that I see people do is that they'll just put the circle just right around their hand. The problem with that is that when you swing this cast net and all that rope's being used, this circle thing come right out of your hand. And there's your cast net gone in the water. It's happened to me tons, plenty of times. I've lost, I think like three or four cast nets doing that. And as somebody who's made that mistake plenty of times, uh, don't do that. <laughs> so what I'll do instead, take my circle 
here. Let's see if the camera picks it up. Circle here, my main line. Main line is my left hand, circle my right hand. I'll do, grab my main line and feed it through that circle. What I do is create me a circle, a loop, and then I tighten that loop just like that. And when it does, when my rope goes all the way out, and you know, it, it, my cast net wants to go away from my hand, this thing is not coming out. And say if you're in a terrible situation, your cast net gets stuck in the prop, it's pulling you in, all you gotta do, guys, before that rope gets tight, just, you know, like, <laughs> that was quick, too quick for y'all. But um, what I gotta do is just grab this, my wrist, the rope on my wrist, pull it out, just like that. I mean, but uh, hopefully y'all don't encounter that problem. That would be awful, <laughs> be terrible. Okay, so next up, we gotta cool our rope. The way we do that, got my little band here, my right hand, I slide my left hand down. Slide my left hand down, and then I put it back to my right hand. I hold with my left hand. Once I slide my left hand down, I come back holding that rope to my right hand. It's simple, but a little complicated. <laughs> but y'all get it. So left hand down, hold the rope, bring it back in. And repeat that over and over until y'all get to the swivel. Once you're at the swivel, what I want to do is grab my left hand and put the ring up all the way. Got a ring all the way up here. And the first thing we're gonna do is grab our right hand and hold it underneath the ring here. About, about a foot under the ring. And the biggest, I, I don't like grabbing it on the ring. You'll see a lot of people do that. I just don't like it. Um, I figured, I um, found out that it's a little bit easier doing it this way. So I grab it under the net quite a bit. And then once I have that, I have all this net, everything on my right hand, my right arm. And so next, I grab my left hand, slide down the mesh until it's about hip, a little bit under hips length. And what I'm doing here is folding the net. So I have, you know, so I can cast this thing. So left hand, and I, same thing I do with this rope, this green rope. I'm, I coil it over, just like that. I've got everything in my right hand again, just shorting it out so I can cast this thing. And then next up, I'm gonna be splitting my, let's see if the camera picks up, splitting my weights on the bottom. The way I like to split my weights is um, I'll just grab the end of the mesh, kind of pull out, and I like to just check my fingers, kind of just, you know, feed it all into my hand that's um, holding the mesh. So kind of feeding it in until these are split evenly. evenly. So, just like that and then once I do that I with the hand that I fed all that 
bastions here. I fold it over, fold it over into my right hand. Everything's on your right hand now. 50, 50, 50 on the top, 50 on the bottom. Now, we gotta do one more thing or two more things. So this line that is feeding down, we got two lines here, one on this one kind of like at your side and one facing that way. The one that is on my side, I want that one. This is the one I want to mess with. So what I do, take it out like this and then I put it more again on my left hand, just like I did with the mesh there earlier. And then grab that same line again, go like this. And let's get ready to cast this thing. So, got our six foot cast net all prepared. The six foot cast net covers four to eight foot cast net. And uh, the trick to doing this is simply um, your right hand with all the stuff in it, everything in it, you swing that first. And then the left hand with this little single strand, you hold onto that like for like a second. So it can open the cast net. So let's go ahead and cast this thing. So I've got some bait here, need a cast. Of course, right hand goes force first, left hand holds it just for a second. Not sure if y'all saw that or not, cause I kind of tossed it. That's kind of what you want to do with these six foot cast nets you'll be tossing it most of the time. Um, and that's the advantage to them. You can't do that with a 10 or 12 foot cast net because it's so heavy. But um, yeah guys, so just to see, I don't know if y'all saw it or not, but do it again, pair it. Looks like there's some bait, here's some bait. Toss it just like that. So guys, now we've got our eight foot cast net and I would show you all on the beach, but my camera kept on falling, uh, which y'all probably saw in the last clip um, or earlier. So same thing as the six foot cast net, we're using the same technique. Only difference is that this cast net's a little bit heavier and it's um, just a little bit longer, which is, that's all right. You just have to hold a little bit more in your shoulders. So we're gonna coil it up. Again guys, same technique for four to eight foot cast nets. Then grab a ring, stretch it out, grab a little bit under the ring, and then get our mesh stretched out. I'm gonna grab a little bit under hips length. And then there we go. Then we'll go ahead and grab half of the lead weights, coil it over. Then we're gonna grab our strand that is closer to our body. Like I said, in the six foot, earlier when I was explaining the six foot cast nut. So, got two strands, one going this way, one going my way. We're grabbing the one that's closest to us. Then grab that, we're gonna fold it over, put it in our thumb. Then stretch the same strand over. So, gonna cast it. Perfect throw. And again, I can't sh stress this enough. With these four to eight foot cast nets, you can like swing them way out. And um, you guys will see the 10 foot. I'll be throwing that here soon. But uh, with that, you can't really swing it. You can't really like throw it out like you can with a four to eight foot cast net. That's what I love about these eight foot cast nets. You can just swing them way out. I love it. So guys, next up we've got our 10 foot cast net and the technique we'll be using for this cast net is gonna be called the triple load technique. The reason why I like using the triple load technique is because it's a lot easier in your body. 
you don't have to hold a lead weight in your mouth like other the older ways the older way to do it and um i mean like i said it's easier in your body it's if you're throwing a cast in all day i mean this is the way to do it if you're not this is still the way to do it um but yeah i know a lot of newer guides who are using this technique um and it works very well and of course the first thing we do is coil up our ropes do that again for y'all coil them up and then we get to our swivel and once we get to our swivel we're going to grab the little ring right here and what we want to do now is stretch the net out so all the lead weights are kind of aligned together because you'll kind of see like little kinks and that's what we're kind of preventing by stretching the net so we'll go ahead and do that the bigger net like this you kind of have to stretch farther out like right now i'm walking away from the boat hear those lead weights kind of stretching the net out which is what you want And once I do that, I grab, let's see if I can show y'all here. I grab two feet under the ring. I grab two feet under the ring, just like that. And then I stretch way out, like it's the full arm length and I coil over, just like we did with the rope. Coil over just like that. And I want, and when I stretch out that mesh, I want it to be hips length. So I'll grab a little bit, coil it over, and then grab a little bit more. My hips length, coil it over again. That is the way to do it. And then now we've got our lead weights. First thing we want to check is tangles because with bigger cast net like this, if you got a tangle in it or a little knot, um, it's, it's not going to open up very well. So we're going to check that the way I like to do it. Kind of grab my hand like this and take the lead weights, kind of just slide them over. Or you can use your floor or your boat. There's one tangle right there. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. Let's see if y'all can't see it. Got a little tangle right there. Oh, just freed up. But whenever you have a tangle, you just shake it off and it'll come off. So let's see if we can't find another one. Nope, there's a little tangle right there. We're gonna try to show you all what a tangle looks like. This little lump right here, kind of see it's all balled up together. It's like folded over, it's not too bad, but kind of just shake it off. There you go, straightens out. Okay. Next up, what we're gonna do here is that we're gonna grab one third of the net. So just a little bit, not too much. And it doesn't have to be too, too perfect. So I got a little bit in my hand. And then here's the tricky part. So what I'm going to do here is that I'm going to put it under and over my shoulder, just like that. So this took me a little while to understand. Show you all in slow motion here. But grab one third of my left hand and two thirds of my right hand with the one third of my left hand go under and I'm going under my arm just like that and then 
biggest problem you're gonna have here is going over your shoulder. Like, how do I, how do I put this over my shoulder? Well, you kind of just lift the whole net up, fold your elbow in, and then go just like that. Do it again for y'all here in side view. So, put it under my arm, lift the whole cast net up, elbow in, and then cast net over my shoulder. That'll be it. Got one third on our shoulder, two thirds on the bottom. With this two thirds, what I'm gonna do, so what I've got here are two lead lines that are coming down. The lead line that is on my side, which is this one, I'm going to go ahead and kind of just put it over just like that. Once I have that over, Going to go like this. Now I've got my cast net ready. So let's go and cast it. So guys, the way you cast this thing, um, the biggest thing, biggest beginner mistake I want to point out is people go side to side like this. It's the worst thing you can do. Best thing you can do is go away from you and then let that lead weight go behind you and then cast. Um, so biggest, when I was learning this, the biggest thing I wish someone would tell me um, is the direction, which direction should all these lead weights be going. So the lead weights on the bottom, the one on my left hand, the one on my right hand, which is right here, those are gonna be going forward. Um, and this back one on my shoulder, it's gonna be the closest one to me once it lands in the water. Um, so that's one thing you wanna keep in mind. So we'll go ahead and cast it away from me, out, and then there you go perfect pancake and sometimes you'll hit your boat like that I mean it's just the way it is and then bring it on in and it's that simple y'all So guys, actually caught a little lizard fish. So guys, I just threw this cast net and um, caught me a little lizard fish. Kind of cool. Proves that a cast net can actually catch someone. <laughs> Pretty cool, y'all.
Guys, I hope y'all enjoy the video. We'll be having a lot more how-to videos like this in the future. And if y'all haven't already, feel free to like and subscribe. It would help a lot. Um, next Sunday, we'll be having a fishing video for y'all. We're gonna be targeting gag grouper. Um, we'll see how the day comes. We're we'll planning to go out this Wednesday, so we will definitely see. Um, but uh, if y'all are located in the Wilmington area, feel free to go check out Inch Coast Langler. That's where I work at part time. Love the job. And we saw all kinds of cool hoodies, hats, um, fishing gear. We saw every one of the um, fish, all the fishing gear you need, really. Excuse me. Um, we saw Tiagras, Kingfish rods, spinning reels. We saw Daiwa, Shimano, Pen, um, all kinds of, I mean, pretty much everything. Um, like when you walk in the store, the first thing you'll notice, like, dang, this place has a lot of fishing gear. So, um, y'all go check us out if you're in the Wilmington area. We're located in Wrightsville Beach, North Carolina. And, um, anyways, guys, thank you so much again for watching my full video. And, um, I will probably see y'all in the next video. Thanks so much. See ya.